Welcome! Enthamami is a Redmi 13 and today I will show you how you can import your contacts from the SIM card to the phone. So, to get started, you will want to open up your standalone contacts application, like this one. Next, navigate to Organize. Now, actually, I'm gonna go back quickly and just talk about this. So, right now, all the contacts that you see are being displayed from my Google account, which you can see right here. So it's showing it from this account. Now I also have the option to display my contacts from the SIM card itself if I wanted to, but that doesn't really give you options to edit these contacts and other things like photos uh, and additional information. So anyway, let's go and select our organize tab. And then we're looking for fix or manage and fix. We say think. Nope, never mind. There we go. So it's manage sim, like this. Um, and once you select that, it will show you all the contacts that are located on your SIM card. For me, that's all of five contacts. And only one is selected right now. The reason for that is because all these contacts, including this one actually, exist on the Google account that the device is trying to import it to by default. But as you can see, there is a drop down menu, so I can select to import my contacts to, for instance, the device. And this automatically allows me to import all of them as none of these contacts exist on the phone itself. Uh, now, one more thing is if you don't have any kind of Google account signed in, there will not be uh, this save to option visible for you. It's just going to be manage sim and then right away contacts below that. Uh, and in this kind of cases where you don't have a Google account signed in, it automatically imports contacts to the device uh, as this is the only option that you have. Now, obviously you can deselect contacts uh, from the list that you don't want. And from there, click on import button. It will ask you this uh, question if you want to keep or delete these contacts from your SIM card. I recommend keeping them as they never get in your way. Uh, and they're just a safe uh, kind of backup in terms of something would happen. So I prefer to keep them. Now, once you import your contacts, keep off you can then navigate to contact and depending on where you have imported your contacts to you might need to switch the display location so because i imported mine to the uh, device i'm gonna click right here and select the device which now is visible and here are all the four contacts that i have imported so with that being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching